staying right. in the green. All right, start streaming. All right, hi everybody. We have just opened up this dog. This is the Seek Thermal Camera, which flavor? It's the Compact Pro. And this is the one that has the resolution of 320 by 240, some random units, <laughs> thermal sensor. Um, so 320 by 240, so that's pretty good. This is going to have a greater resolution than the, um, the Canly um, Tool Plus one that's been going around. It definitely has better resolution than my old Fleur cam, which we, <laughs> I didn't even bother to look up. We should charge that up. It should, it should be part of this. Um, I have also ordered a um, Fleur, I think it's the ETS320 camera setup, which is the top of the line one, so, because we wanted to answer this question of whether or not thermal cameras even have a place at all in iPhone short detection or mobile repair. So right now, our current opinion, which is always just sort of evidence-based, is that it's an unnecessary expense for most people, right? So what's so you've been really vocal about this. You're like known as like Mark, the guy who hates thermal cams. So why do you well, think that? Um, if they were a hundred bucks, I wouldn't hate them. I, Mine was a hundred bucks. I'll sell it to you. I'll sell <laughs> if seventy-five. They were, bucks. If they were a hundred bucks and they worked, I wouldn't. Okay. Hate them. All right. But if they're nine hundred bucks and they work as well as my finger, I'm gonna go with the finger. Okay. So you think, and I think this is true as well that. For most, most cases that a general repair shop is going to see that's trying to do a little bit of on-the-spot data recovery for local people, uh, that most microsolders, when you have a short, that the combination of experience, vis visual inspection, mm -hmm. physical and electrical presentation, plus, in my opinion, my face, or Mark's finger, because you've got the beard thing going on. <laughs> that's right. But I really like you. You can call a short with your face. Uh, that that is equal to the you know speed and resolution that you could get with a thermal camera across the board. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's my that's my opinion. That's my opinion as well. Going in. All right. But we are hearing so many people talking about thermal cameras and whether or not to buy one, and uh, so we decided to to take one for the team, order this stuff, and see whether or not they actually have a place. Now, we both agree that for difficult, rare cases, then a thermal camera can be a really important tool. All right? Yeah, definitely there, there is a place for it, but I don't know if that place is in every shop. Right, gotcha, right. Okay, so we have the thermal, the Seek thermal camera to play with today, and we're gonna be looking here at chat to see, um, to see what you guys think we should do. Our idea, I went over to the queue and I dropped down a few rows to kind of some recent stuff that nobody's looked at. <clears throat> I grabbed just sort of a, a set of a couple of rows of devices, opened them up and looked for ones that had a short. So if it was one that was clearly a software problem or something that was clearly not a short circuit, I put it aside. And what I have here is just sort of the kind of random mix of the daily short circuits that we might see. And what we're gonna propose doing is, Mark has not seen any of these boards. All I did was kind of look to see if there was a short, didn't put any time into them, and I just took out the screws to make it easy. Um, we're gonna see how long does it take for Mark to find the cause of the short. Let me get my timer. I'm gonna get my timer out, my official iPhone 10 timer. And let's reset it. And we're gonna like let you go through what you normally do. So we have some freeze spray here that we typically use. We've got some wires, we've got DC power supply, and I'm gonna be showing you what Mark's looking at with our uh, handy hand cam. Um, so let's see, uh, we've got a question here, which is, um, which is how much did you spend on this stuff? So, so far, this particular one, the Seek, uh, the Seek Compact Pro, I believe this is about 400 bucks. And then separately we bought a macro lens. So the macro lens, I think itself was 75 bucks on eBay. So this is around 500 bucks. So somewhere between four and 500 bucks for this setup. And you can buy it either for iOS or, or for Android. So we bought the one for Android and we have it attached to 
a Samsung Galaxy S6 that is sort of a shop phone. All right, so let's see. Um, I use regular Seek thermal cam, not the Pro, and it do the work for me, says Aroldis Garcia. It's not that thermal cameras are bad, it's that the consumer cameras aren't great for Pro users. Once the, once the tech gets to, let's say, uh, super resolved, then it will be actually useful. Oh yeah, that, yeah. If you could get the, the, the high levels, the, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. For if you could tell where the short was without having to open the phone, then that would be pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so here we go, Mark. Let me here. Here you go. All Here's right. this phone. This is All an right. iPhone six, and the note says, "Zach, with you break, I fix it in Overland Park, Kansas." Zach said there was a short somewhere on the circuit board. The phone is not getting any power. That is it for the note. Uh, so there you go. So, all right, let's switch over and see what Mark is going to do with the hand camera. All right, here we go. All right, Mark. All right, so we got all the shields still on. Yeah. All right. Is it, is it bent or anything? Look at the housing. Water damage? Yeah, there there is a bit of a bend. Looks like right about where the NAND is at. Okay. Uh, a little bit, a little bit lower below NAND. All right. Yeah, little little bend right in here. Okay. No water. Try this Samsung Go mic. There we go. Hey! All right. All right. All right. I think we got we, audio again. I think we've solved our uh, little knock off the thing. So, so okay, don't knock so that cord out again. My fingers have told me that it the short is either under this sticker or under the CPU shield. Wait, wait, so. wait. So let's so let's go back because we we lost our audio. So you right. used the multimeter. You figured out that there's a VCC main short. So yes. now we're going to start your timer. So we're going to reset that. We're going to start your timer as soon as I'm done talking mm -hmm. to give you a fair chance to find <laughs> the actual culprit for the short on VCC main. So just tell us 
what you're doing as you go and okay, begin. So I'm connecting power and I am just feeling around on the board for any signs of heat. And it's getting warm right in this area. Not super hot, but pretty warm. Where? At the top of the board or the bottom? Yeah, like right in here, like above Nand on the back of the board, or it could be over N here. Noob. The bottom bottom Total is also getting warm. Noob. Give it to me. <laughs> use bottom. your fucking face. You will All right, use all your right. face. Use my face? Yes, come on. Find the pinpoint of actual hot spot with your face. Oh. Yeah, see? See? <laughs> there you go! There you go! Boom! All right. All right. Face! Face! Yeah, the lips. The yeah, lips exactly. do help. All right, yeah, so it's definitely... Score one for face. Do definitely hot think right that you know where, here. Hold on. Do you think you know where the short is from the combination of your face and experience? Yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. In, you know, really less than a minute. That, that would be like seconds. All right, let's... Let's open up the microscope cam. All right, so where is right. the hot spot according to your face? Uh, it's one of these Move two guys right there. Move it up a little bit, we can see. One of these guys. All right, so experience is that those guys become short on a non-liquid damaged iPhone 6 with a VCC main short. Those two guys are a common, uh, common culprit. Yep. So that's what it's gonna be, but let's use the camera. See what the camera says. All right. All right, so now we'll say that the face all right, we're going to hit stop. Let's reset. And now we're going to go face versus the camera. All right, so let's start time for the camera. All right, go ahead, camera. Boom, right, so we've right got there, short. immediately. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no doubt about That's that. That's faster than your fingers. That was, that was faster than my fingers. Yeah, I think that with that, that's a, that's a win for the camera. Don't you think? I mean, that is no question. It's I mean, that's... obvious where it is. You, you're not even, you're not even going to have to like look to see is it C fifty two o two. You would be like, nope. Yeah, but it. I mean, the lip told me it was at the corner of the shield. Yeah. All right. I I, I would say tie goes to the lips because they're free. Yeah. <laughs> it's. I mean, it, if that saved me thirty seconds then, you know, that's, how many dollars an hour is it at $400 to save 30 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so now. So are we gonna solve this just short? Just go or ahead gonna... and, no, actually, let's leave, let's leave that. That's a good candidate for tomorrow. Oh, you're right, yeah. All right, hopefully nobody's watching. <laughs> Somebody will definitely, but tomorrow. We're... Yeah, one of the students <laughs> is gonna be like, I never watch your streams. I know right where that short is. <laughs> <laughs> So tomorrow it is the day one of our um, day one of practical board repair school, which we just noticed that we have only a couple of people signed up for November coming up in a couple of weeks. So go to iPadRehab.com and click training and learn all about the course. Super fun time. All right, I'm going to hit. Ah, yikes. I'm going to hit stop on the. To tell iTunes, no, I don't want to install an update. All right, so now you've got another case. So let's look at the note. Why do I? <laughs> what is this? Oh, yeah, I remember, I, I remember that one from the stack. Now, remember, Holy this crap. is just the stack of whatever happened to come in. No one has looked at these. I took the screws out just to save time. And let's see. All right. Um, Is this 29,161? It's, no, it's 29,176 right here. Oh, okay. All right, so 29,176 is really, really cracked up screen and the entire like camera was just <laughs> not attached, kind of mashed up. Phone that is heavily broken. <laughs> yeah. Need to recover data from heavily broken phone data recovery. All right, we'll uh, see what we can do. All I'll right, agree so with that diagnosis. According to your calculations, ah, what did I just do? All right, so what are you, what are you thinking so far? Are you looking, and when an iPhone 7 looks like this with severe bend and, you know, looks like it got shoved in a door or run over, you, then what? You move on to the next thing in the hive and let Jessica grab that one. <laughs> <Did> you, <laughs> you say pass. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
Oh man, yeah. This is. I mean, there's there's uh, definitely going to be. Says that the camera saved you from con contacting herpes. Contacting that's... herpes. Hello, herpes. I'd like to make contact. That's okay. true. There's there's no telling what I've put my lips on. I don't think that you can can. There's there's no vehicle of transmission of any kind of herpes from a <laughs> logic word. In fact, one of the funniest moments of the last course was when somebody was like, well, "What do you do?" I mean, you're not going to use your face if it's like a phone that's been in a toilet. What do you do then? And I'm like, you put your face on it because you're not a pussy. Come on. Jeez. All right. I think that's the thing that comes with uh, wiping a lot of baby butts and you don't care about stuff like that anymore. All right. So what's up with this, Mark? What does your experience say? Um, that there's probably going to be a lot of problems, some of which are going to be shorts. Okay. So now what? Um... Now, I guess I, I'll go ahead and check main again. All right. Uh, let's see. Where's so you that? have memorized your favorite main spot on the iPhone 7? I, I have not. It is um, by the battery connector. There is, oh, is there a, a good one there? test point. We can't see it. The camera, nope. I think, is pretty now aligned. Is it? Uh, no, it's, it's the... It's, is it that one? Nope. Is it's, it the back side? No. One of those guys. There's one of those guys, but maybe, maybe it's the seven that's plus. That's not my favorite. All right. It's not by the battery I lied. It's by the it's, dock. Nope. Close. Yeah. Yeah. Right, All right. there. The diamond. The, the diamond. diamond oh, name. perfect. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we have. All right. Survey says. Fine, there's nothing wrong with this phone. Yeah, there's no short on main. All right, it's Great. good to go. Fire this thing up. should boot up. Probably fine. No problem. It's just, it's just quickly. Uh, oh, look. oh, ouch! <laughs> Ooh, owie! Oh boy! Ow. Yeah. But even still, you know, I would consider just snapping that arm off of the board entirely, just in case. If 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 that's necessary. All right. Super fun. All right, uh, so we're going to connect power and uh, see what she does after I prompt All her right. to boot. I'm going to guess that it's going to consume a lot of current as soon as I prompt to boot. I'm going to guess that it's going to have an SD RAM short. Where is your know. 7? Oh. It's really tiny. Wow. It, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's the shittiest Jeez. of all the connectors. In fact, I briefly considered reworking it, but I didn't want to waste time. All right. Okay, so here we go. We're looking at DC power supply, and Mark is going to prompt to boot and see what happens. So we're maxing out on yeah. current consumption. So that makes it, you know, all right, where is the heat? That's what I, I would want to know. Where is the heat next? I would yep. be thinking it would be SD RAM because that electrical presentation generally means SD RAM short in iPhone 7. I think. Yeah, the the high current then back to zero very quickly. Oh, Lewis says, how's it going on your normal non-famous channel? <laughs> Hi, Lewis. Um, this is your uh, future employee, Mark, here <laughs> demonstrating his amazing short detection with his face skills here on DC power supply. All right, so what you gonna do? Uh, Time's ticking. We're gonna start yeah, your time, know, man. This is taking a long time. I think uh, I think the camera's gonna win. All right. Uh, we need to delete and ban the guy saying, Mark, come work here. Who's that? Lewis. <laughs> Lewis's phones are all going to be VCC main shorts with nothing else wrong. No, they're not. They're going to yeah, be bad charge port like that iPhone. <laughs> we sent him a bad battery MacBook. He sent us a bad charge port phone. It's just the way it goes. All right. All right. So top of the board, I'm not. I'm not picking up anything with the fingers. You're not. How about the scrotum? I heard that is really good for also free. Not on camera. <laughs> oh, God. Lewis. Oh, my God. Lewis, you got to see this. 
This is hilarious. Look, this next one we're gonna do. Oh shit, that's probably too too much info. From the, do you know this guy? Send us a phone. Do you remember him, Lewis? That will be a fun one. Oh, here comes Mark. It's really hard to prompt to boot while I'm putting my lip on it. That is pretty talented. Mark is prompting to boot with the tweezers while putting his lips on the board. That is impressive. This needs to be, look over here, because I want to make this be the, the channel. <laughs> needs to be the thumbnail all right i i feel like it's not on the top side of the board maybe really? it is maybe it's not it's you know it's flashing so quickly that i this is a case where maybe the camera is worth doing it because it'll pick it up in that in that second don't you want to just check one v8 sd ram that's what i would do yeah the place i know to check it is under this sticker yeah that's the same place i would check it at right all right Steve usually only sends you douchebags. Yes, I'm, I'm, I am aware. In fact, they, they even say things on there like douchebag. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I also, I don't have these lines memorized in the seven, but the one V8 is by, is the dude by audio. I see it's this guy, that third, that three in a row. It's the one on the one close to the bracket. Okay. One V8 SD Ram. Boom. Uh, yeah. Another vote for experience. Zero, zero, Throw four. Throw this phone away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But let's see. Where? Now, sometimes, maybe once or twice, I've actually seen a, a 1v8 SD RAM short that was a cap as opposed to the common fault, which is the SD RAM yeah. itself. Uh, yeah, definitely I'm getting a spot of heat right, right over here. A pinpoint of heat Oop, right over there. <laughs> okay all right so uh then i guess i would probably i would pull up zxw but since i don't have that open already i'll just Shorty make short face. i'll just check and probe right around here it was somewhere All right, so I think it's this guy. I think it's the uh, third one up. You do? One, two, three. I think it's this guy. I think you should put your eyes... Oh, Look wait. at the discoloration. Well, I mean, it could be this guy. You don't think that... The, <laughs> I don't think it's either one of them, to be honest. You don't think it's either one of these? No, because I looked at that board for about 10 seconds, and I looked at the SD RAM, because my experience is when you've got a bad SD RAM crack, you know, that, that it's in the CPU, but I could be wrong. Uh, I mean, there's, there's not a crack there. There's a crack yeah, in that I thought coil. that crack extended into the CPU. Does it? Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think it's that, that you're just, you're going to exclude that, not that. No, That's fine. it's, it's That's fine. just a little, rub some dirt in it. Rub that little thermal paste. I mean, there may fine. be two shorts. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Let's see what this camera does. Yes. I do want to know what the camera does. This one will be a good one for the camera. All right. So we're going to say that Mark, after a long four minutes and 45 seconds, has narrowed it down to either the brown cap or the giant crack in the now, SD RAM. Do we have a dock on hand? Because I want to prompt to, you know, it's it's only okay, flashing. Find, so. I, will, I will find that here. Let's uh, take that off. Here you can you can chat. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Let's go. Here we go. Hello. Here All we right. go, Doc. All right, Doc. All right. Whoops. Oh you man. Know, I do not like your oh, microphone set microphone. up here. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh god. How is this even hooked up? Okay. And now, how, how, what do you think about the ease of use of the camera? Does it work okay on this S6? Yeah, now that we've got something that doesn't have a shitty uh, charge port, it, it seems to consistently work fine, so mm -hmm. not a problem. All right, get this ready. This says MacBook. What? 
I don't know. It just says me. Uh, all right. We need we need a need cable. Oh, cable. All right. This one I think is probably done back in. I found this one on the floor, so it's probably good. I'm sure it's fine. It's where I keep them. It's where I keep the good ones, so nobody will take them. Look at that audio I see. There it was. All right, so what's, according to this thing, that cap is not getting hot whatsoever. Yeah, which makes me wonder if it's even being prompted to boot. Probably not. Uh, let's try a different cable. All right, we'll, we'll give up on this one. All right. All right, so we're going to prompt it to boot because this is not a VCC main short. So before you prompt it to boot, it's just going to sit there with no short. All right, so now um, I'm going to pull this out and see if we see that if it's actually being prompted to boot. I don't think it is because I'm, I'm pulling, no. pulling the cable in and out. And All right, well, then it's going to take two of to, us. One right, of us is going to hold this. Yeah. All right, so what we're doing now is we're having to prompt to boot. Oh, shit. That is hard. Um, we're having to prompt to boot with tweezers. So I'm holding this camera and the other camera. Okay. Uh, and we're looking to see, did we get that prompt? I'm, I'm getting the flashes, but I have to keep doing it. See, now the, the thing is having a hard time not looking at your hand. Well, bring it right in close. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. Yeah, there you go. So that is, on that side, you can definitely see that. That, you can see the PMIC lighting up and that cap. And it, yeah, the one that is, has the brown end? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's you, you can't tell between that area. Oh, you can't tell that you it's can't, that there's, The resolution is not is not great enough. Let's get it closer. Man, this is this is feels pretty janky. All right, prompt that sucker to boot. Yeah, I'm trying to. I like the macro lens though. I can see now that it really does let you get pretty close. There you go. All right. So is it the guy? Mm, yeah, I think so. All right. So All right, I, now flip it over though, and let's see what happens when you prompt on the, you know, the other side. All right. Are you tell me when you get a prompt. I'm getting it. It's doing it for a second, and I have to do it again. Okay, there. So you can see like that flash at the crack as well. Oh boy. So it, it's really not able to differentiate the crack from from the other side. So camera says they're both the same. You know, yeah. same amount of heat. So camera verse camera can't help us any more than cheap method on this one, but it certainly is a lot faster. The camera, um, don't you think? Kind of. I mean, not, the prompt to boot stuff was tough. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it's, you know, I needed a second person to hold the camera so that I Honestly, could Honestly, if you boot didn't and... already know that this was a 1V8 SD RAM short, seeing those flashes of heat would not have helped you. Because it's without that overlay of the line drawing, you wouldn't know which one it was, right. which cap it was. It would just be and, something around this area. And feeling that it was getting hot, like there was a definite pinpoint of heat, and my fingers covering the whole back of the board. Like mm -hmm. I didn't need to know it was one V eight SD RAM to now, know that it we was. We could put freeze spray on that, and then and it, it will show us right that cap. Yeah, in fact, we could maybe do that to. Yeah. Show that free spray. Free I'll, spray is going to beat the camera on this one. It's going to be hard to do under the microscope though because it's on the back of the board, and I got a prompt to get it. Okay. To do it. 
So. All right, so we'll 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 move on. All right. Yeah. So let's say that one then is it. You know, I don't see how the I don't see how the camera really helped you any more than visual exam. You know, yeah, the no. visual exam showed a cap that had a brown spot and a crack in the in the top layer around. Right. You know, so I, I don't <laughs> think the camera was a big advantage on that one. Okay, so let's get another case. Let's see what you guys think of that case. All right, let's put this back together. So this goes here. That's the note. Yeah. All righty. Um, you have to get like two inches away. Any further resolution goes down. Uh, it's like plugging a Game Boy into a 60-inch TV. All right, next case is my favorite here from Stephen Wade. Now, Stephen Wade, I think, predates even even you, Mark. Yeah? Yeah, this is his uh, customer's iPhone was run over while face down by a car tire. Stephen Wade is the... Remember how many times at... at uh, practical board repair school day one when I go over the rules. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. And All one right. of the rules is that <laughs> if you have a menage a trois at the course, don't do it in the course room. Do it back at the hotel. It's my favorite rule. Yes. And if you do do it in the course room, don't do that. Don't leave your condom on the instructor's chair. Let's, let's just say evidence. Evidence, right. Exactly. <laughs> and even if you do do that, when the instructor comes in and says, whose is this? Don't say, oh, sorry, that's... <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, let me get that out of your way. Just don't say that. <coughs> just, just be like, whoops, don't, don't mention it. Yes. All right. So that's my favorite guy. I really hope we can fix this one. So, yeah, I'm going to guess that this board, this phone was run over. And then what makes you say that, Mark? Uh, a, a very clear map of all the large caps pressed into the <laughs> the uh, sticker. Okay, yeah. All right. Yes. Like a gravestone rubbing, <laughs> except <laughs> yeah. it was tire and parking lot. Okay, fair enough. So there's probably going to be a short. Okay. Ooh. And there's also probably going to be a loose uh, coil. There's heat on there. Look at the heat Boop. marks. Mmm. Yeah. It's never the coil though, so skip that. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody's been there. Do you think that no, that, that heat is that's, native? That's not a heat. It's not? No, that was just like a fleck of metal that happened to look like a solder ball. No, nope, okay. no heat. We just have the old, uh, the old coil popped off, as they do. So he's going to need that. But I would bet there's probably still a short in here somewhere. All right, so there's magnet trays right in front of you. You can keep that guy on. So that is one of the paper coils. So you'll never see one of the ones that look like little cement blocks. They will never fall off. But those paper coils, the red ones with the dot, those those are like a coil packaged in a like kids wrapping paper, and then the wrapping paper is soldered to the board. So those paper coils will jump off when you have something like a big drop. Hmm, I wonder if it could be the audio ice. <laughs> I mean, that that might be a little bit of a problem. All right. So I would suspect that to cause a VCC main short if, if that was a problem. But maybe it's not the problem. Maybe it's fine. Hmm. All right. All righty. So what are you doing? Taking this sticker off? Yep. Looking, looking underneath here too. All right. So electrical presentation and physical exam. You're missing your little antenna dude at the very end. That guy. Son of a gun. He's gone. Yeah, he's fine. All right. All right. Nothing jumping out at the bottom of the board, except this guy looks a little funny, but it's probably okay. Uh, we got two caps popped off here, so that makes me worried about um, 
you know, connections under NAND. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Just poke at these guys, make sure they're not loose. Ah, look at that. Uh, that one's loose. Mm -hmm. Another paper coil. See mm -hmm. how it's the red style with a dot? Yep. And that seems to be our our leading candidate. Yeah, if we're gonna say this has a short, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be there. Okay. So what are you gonna do now? Uh, let's see. Let's see if it has a short on main just to satisfy my curiosity. Okay. Survey says. My. Am I in the right spot to show it on camera? Yes. All right, so that's your favorite VCC main cap on the iPhone 6S, and it is short. Meaning yep. the line is short, not necessarily that guy, right? Right. So I'm going to say pull off that audio I see and then see. Well, let's see what the camera says talk. first. All right, let's see. Now, do you think that you could operate this without needing some kind of a special tripod? Or back at home, are you going to need to prompt the board to boot in a different way than you normally do or something like that in order to use the camera? Yeah, no, it's, it's going to be a pain in the ass to, to figure out how to make use of this in the cases where it might be useful. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's like I... I can't just have it mounted over here, pointing at it and look up at a screen. I've got to have it in front of me. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll probably get like an extender for mm -hmm. the, for the uh, USB. Um, or you could 3D <clears throat> print something. Yeah. Like you could 3D <coughs> print a way to attach it to your microscope or something. That'd be cool. Yeah, but I mean, I'm going to want it to be facing me here while the camera is somewhere down here pointed at my work area. Right. So I'm going to need to extend that because the camera plugs right into the phone. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, 3D printing something to help that out would be cool. All right, there we go. 6S. All right, so, so I'm going to disconnect it over here at DC Power. So again, we're using the two-man thing. So when I touch here, we've got our short. All right, but let's go ahead and look at the board, which is not I have not connected it yet. So Mark, when you're ready, I will connect it. So let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right, connected. And the transistor is hot. Yeah, so we're going to ignore that. Interesting. Camera says it's not audio IC, don't bother with it. So this is the first time that we've had a really big difference. So the camera is saying that little, there's a little spot right there by, that guy right there by baseband PMIC. Look, there's a cap yep. by baseband PMIC. Point it out with your other hand if you can. Uh, like, yeah. not there, like, yes. Yeah, so uh, that is showing us there's a little cap there. Let's try it again. Let's like uh, cool that down. I'd like to compare freeze spray to this or like conventional techniques to All right. inject it. I think me. this is the best compromise between the... Uh, All right, blow, blow that so it's cool. I mean, it's, it's going to. It's automatically okay. making Okay, so just to hottest. be clear, we know from experience, and you guys that have watched this channel long enough know, that whenever you inject current through the battery connector into a short circuit on VCC main, you're always going to see this dude here is the VCC main battery MOSFET. That guy's yeah. always going to get hot, even though he cannot possibly be the reason why there's a short to ground. We think from experience and physical exam that the short is way up here at the crack on audio IC. So right now I've disconnected current, so we're back at zero. So we're gonna give it a chance again to say, camera, show us the hot spot. That means we're gonna ignore the known hot spot, which is the MOSFET. The MOSFET's gonna heat up and that heat is gonna bleed out. Yeah. We've gotta ignore all that mentally and look for what else? So I'm going to keep that out of the frame so that it doesn't 
because it, everything turn yeah, red. it's going to get hotter than anything else. So I've got to keep it away from the rest. Okay, so let's. Are you are you ready then? Ready. All right, so we're gonna connect. So now we've got our short. All right, piece. there we go. Bottom left corner of the PM, uh, baseband PMIC. All right, so right here, right there. There's a cap there. Now let's look up, slide it to audio IC. Audio IC is still fairly, it's totally cool. So despite the crack in audio IC, which is on VCC main, our experience says that this is going to be audio IC and I would absolutely take audio IC off. If well, not yeah, my experience says that that audio IC is unacceptable and it could be the cause of the short, but the fact that the phone has obviously been run over makes me think that there's likely multiple shorts. Okay, so leave audio IC on there and take off this cap and we'll see if the short goes away. If not for this camera, I would be taking off audio IC right now. So, oh, I would so, absolutely take it off before even looking into whether VCC main had a short. Just the fact that it's physically damaged and isn't required to boot up and get data, yeah, I would just kick it well, off. I would have, I would have done out. that as well. But if the camera changes my opinion that it's, you know, that it's actually just, you know, potentially right now for data recovery, a single bad cap, I think that's really interesting. All right. So let's, so show us under the microscope, well, the physical <coughs> presentation of the the cap. cap. Yes. So a little bit, yeah. a little that, bit that, brown that at the end. That jumps out at me as burned. See how he's that not. He's, and that's the one that's that I different. that I mentioned when we were looking at the bottom of the board. I said that looks a little odd, and it might be okay, but right. it's something also, to keep in mind. Interestingly, you know, we're we in the thread that was kind of like going down this like, hey, let's look at uh, look at the thermal cameras. It was that cap on a six S. VCC main short that you could see without removing the MOSFET that was like, oh, maybe the cameras mm -hmm. are cool. All right, we'll try. Yeah. Okay, so kick off that cap and <clears throat> we'll see whether or not that short on main goes away. All right, so that I think is pretty cool. All right, so cap is gone. And let's see. Jessa, do you about CIC? I am really interested if you know about it. Uh, you mean the Brazil tool? Uh, I've, I've, I've had a guy say, why don't we send you one of these, you can tell us what you think, but he never did, so never seen it before. Yep, we still got a short. All right, so Mark kicked off the cap, and we still have a short. All right, so now according to your face. Ooh. Jessa, can I have your attention just a sec? It is not a tool. Okay, so it is somewhere in this neighborhood. It could now be audio IC. It's definitely audio IC. It could. It's totally audio IC. Here, give me, Maybe. let me put, here, I want to try it. Here, okay. you hold the camera. I'm going to tell you exactly, exactly what it is. My face is heavily experienced. Oh, we're still on microscope camera anyways. All right, well, let's take this off. All right. Okay, here we go. Stretch, stretch them out, warm them up. <laughs> warm, warm it up. Give me some ice. <laughs> All righty, let's see. Uh, nope, nope. Did you bite off the 6S? Where's the 6S on my squid? It's right, right there. Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna get ready. Let's see what it is, ready? No, it's not audio, I see. It's below that, it's down here. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, it's down here, it's, it's down here. It's not audio, I see. Oh, way down there? Yeah, way down here. All right. All right. Let's see what the camera has. See if the camera scares my face. All right, come on. Do it. All right, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. And here is current. Well, that says PMIC. 
does say PMIC, which, by the way, is down here and not audio IC. <laughs> so what does that mean? That means take off audio IC because that is probably, you know, it, it, or look really hard to see if you have any kind of physical crack in PMIC. If you do have a physical crack in PMIC, then that's the only way that can get damaged. What you got going on up here? None of that is main. No. So that's right. a troll. Yeah. See, that's a, put that back. That's that's where you get into trouble, I think, with these cameras. Yeah. Like you have to know. I am looking for a VCC main short. And then when you go, look at all of that heat. That heat is all around the CPU. In fact, the CPU is quite hot. And then all of these components right here by the CPU. None of those are on VCC main. So you can't just see hot take off hot because while there may be a second problem, that is not related to the short that we're trying to track down. All right, what you gonna do, Mark? Uh, I'll take off the audio IC, I guess. Okay. Take off audio IC. Now let's look on the microscope at the CMIC and see, does it have any physical cracks? Uh, no. All right. So I would vote for, it, splash it with alcohol. Make sure there's not any kind of little hairline crack. All right. If there's a hairline crack, then I would go for that. But otherwise, I would say hey, they're in the white bag. Oh, Otherwise, oh I would say audio IC is in your face with obvious physical damage that it doesn't really matter what, what this heat says. Uh, is that a crack? That does look... Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah, a crack. Yeah, it is. Crack. Okay. Oh. No that. need to remove audio IC. You have <laughs> a crack in the PMIC. All right, go ahead and take that off, Mark. Yeah, so that's right where it was getting hot, too, right yeah, there. Yeah, move it up a little bit so we can see. All right, so there we go. I, I like it. I don't know. I kind of like yeah. the camera now. Look at that. That is a very difficult to appreciate hairline crack in the PMIC, which is the only way that the iPhone 6S PMIC is ever going to give you a problem, is exactly that, that thin hairline crack. If this board had been in front of me without the camera, I would have definitely put time into taking off that, you know, messed up audio IC. I would have, uh, you know, probably injected freeze spray and then seen that the PMIC heated up along that crack and then it would become really obvious. Yeah. Yeah, two cracks. There's one across the other side. Yeah, well, it, yeah. it kind of goes yeah, in a- Yeah, it's like a giant spider web. It goes in a circle, right? Yeah, like around around that way. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. So, what am I taking this PMIC off, or are we moving on to the next one? Um. Well, I mean, we know that the taking this one, I think you're going to take off PMIC and have to change that, and that's going to really make this stream long, and it's mm -hmm. not relevant to the topic. So let's let's put that aside for now and see if we have another case. But I'm. I kind of like it, Mark. All right, now here's one that I have written, check heat. <coughs> okay, so this is an iPhone 7. All right, so this is iPhone 7. All right, um... So this, uh, Luis or anybody else, you're saying, I can't believe you do not know about CIC. You've just heard me say that I uh, that I am aware that somebody has made what I consider a please bro tool that I said, if you want to send us one for us to evaluate, then we would be happy to do that. Um, that, that never happened. I sent my address to these guys. If you want to send one, we'll be happy to evaluate. My current opinion is that the idea of trying to localize a, a short circuit based on uh, changes in resistance down the line would be very laborious, very noisy, and likely to be um, a waste of time over other methods. That's my opinion, but I have not tried that tool. I would not be interested in paying for that because I don't think that it would be useful. Same thing, I don't think the Kian Lee camera is useful. I wouldn't pay for that either because I think it's clearly not as good as other methods. Mark, would you pay any money for the CIC, 
you know, whatever, you know, four wires, two different multimeters, trying to figure out small, tiny changes in resistance down, down the line of capacitors? No, I mean, I, I might spend a little bit of time in, you know, figuring out how to do that, but I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't pay right. for to it. To me, it seems like a very, a, a please bro tool that is designed to make, to, to sort of dumb down the, the, you know, board repair so that you are not required to have the kind of experience in physical, physical exam, which is what we teach. So it's really counter to how we teach people how to think about boards. So we would, uh, it'd be a really tough sell to get us to be interested in that. So there you go. All right, Mark, tell us about this board. Uh, well, this, this is an is, iPhone 7. This is an iPhone 7 board. That's all we know. It's an iPhone 7 that, oh yeah, I remember this one. Yeah, tell us what you think. Go ahead and, and take uh, it from the top. This is an iPhone 7 here that I believe has a got a, a red liquid damage indicator. So it does. Wonder if that means it was wet. I don't know, it doesn't really look like it was wet around there. All right, looks okay so far. All right, so you're looking under the microscope? Yep, just uh, looking around, seeing if anything jumps out. Eh, no, seems okay. Oh, there's a little bit of liquid damage right next to the NAND there. And it looks like, is that, have you been poking yes. around here? Yep. Okay. Oh, did did you do that? Do what? I can't see. Uh, all of this? Did I knock off a couple of cats and some of their friends? Yes. Okay. All right. Um... So I'm going to guess that this has... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. To be clear, I did not put the super glue on the shield bracket. I did not do that. Wait, where's... I missed that. Where... Oh, oh, wow. So I did not super glue the sticker <laughs> back Because the on. stickers don't stick on very well. So somebody was like, I'm going to make that yeah, That was stick not on. me, and I found that really annoying when I first got it. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to guess that this has a short on one of the NAND lines, probably 3VO NAND. What makes you say that? Um, well, I don't have all of them memorized, but that's the line that always gets a short. All right. So that's what I think all these missing guys are on 3VO NAND, and there's going to be like one cap left that's on that line that you haven't knocked off yet. All right, we'll see what happens. So this one I did, this one I spent some time on. I think... Um, what I think is going on with this one is that I am not convinced that it had water. Um, so that water that you see there, it yeah. wasn't, it, it really, that, that kind of seems like it, that's just sort of from the effects of like alcohol on the board or something mm. like that. It didn't, it didn't look that water damagey the last time I looked at this board. Um, I could feel heat with my face and the heat seemed to be coming from the center of the NAND, and I believe it did have a 3VO NAND short, but I relieved that short several times, and that's what makes this board really interesting. I think it's not water, but it's more bend or drop, uh -huh. and I think that um, I, I know for sure that I relieved that 3VO NAND short and brought back the diode mode reading to normal, but then when I would fire it up, it would kind of grow back, and so that's kind of why I thought maybe. Yeah, so that, the one on right. the end is definitely 3 on end. I think they both are. Yeah, so, yeah. so there. Point so, 0.37. And then I think there was separately another NAND power line short, which is why in the middle there's a cap missing. That guy? Yeah, 320. Yeah, so that was short that is now relieved. So it's been kind of, you know, chasing these around, but the heat seems to come from the NAND. And... So right. I thought, hey, let's see what the camera has to say, and I put it aside. So here we are with that. Um, okay, so should I fire it up and see if I agree that it's coming from the NAND? Yeah, let's do that. Let's see. Wait, where's my uh, hand cam? Where is the hand cam? You're down to like four threads on the ground on this. I know. So. 
All right, so Mark, it's, so it doesn't have a BCC main short, which means that it pings out there. Yeah, well, that number right okay. there is 3VO NAND short, in my experience. Yeah. But it, we just measured it. It did not have a 3VO NAND short. So according to Mark's face... Yeah, I agree. It feels like the heat's coming from the, you know, kind of central yeah, to the, the NAND center itself. Yeah, the NAND, exactly. The center of the NAND. All right. Let's That's why see. I also kind of hung on to this one for Reball the NAND demo during course week. <laughs> oh, we got to get the uh, got to get the PMIC out of there. Yeah, the PMIC is always going to troll you. All right. Should I should we prompt it again or leave it alone? Well, it's on. It says the NAND's fine. Yeah. yeah, it says just the the board around the NAND is what's getting hot. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I want to see where it, where does it get hot first. All right. So I'm going to let, look, we're going to shut that off. All right. And this one we should be able to prompt with USB. All right, so cool it down. Larry's really interested in this stream. He's been thinking about getting one of these cameras. What do you say to Larry? Um, I am still, I'm undecided, but I'm not as firmly against them. Mm -hmm. I think it, I think that it's, that it's all about the, um, I, I took this out, so. Yeah, all right, so it's Relay. cooled off enough. Okay. So I'm going to plug this back in and then and then here is USB to prompt. Do I need to prompt it? Yeah, you okay, prompt. So I'm going to prompt it. Prompting. See a whole lot of red. Mark, do you find the noise the camera makes like really annoying? Like tick tick. Uh no, my ears still aren't right, so I can't hear I can't that. Hear. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> How was flying today? Oh, it was fine. There's no more infection. All right, we're still either bad cable or bad dock. We're not getting any prompt with that. Oh, yeah. You know what it is? You know what it is? <clears throat> this, this, I think, is the... You can't prompt anymore, this is potentially, because of the USB restrictions from a computer. You have to prompt from a... If you're on IO, really? iOS 11.4, I, I don't know. You know. It should still be putting out that five volts, which is all the charger puts out, right? Yeah, but it ignores your your right. input. So now we're either that or that's what I there have is to there is a the, there is a hot spot right right there on the end, right where I thought it was gonna be too. My my face said it's right here, like right in the middle, like right right there. See, I felt like it was a little bit towards this this corner here. Is that a hot spot within the NAND, the little white dot, or is that just lettering? Yeah, no, those three white dots are... Uh, those are little nicks in the top of the chip, it looks are like. They, what about, like, right up here at the... Like, right around there? Like that, that thing, you think that's something? Hmm... Look at it under here. All right. Uh, I have a question for you. If I opened my phone up and removed the shields, but I didn't touch anything, would you still charge the two hundred dollar fee for previous work? Uh, it we we charge specialty data when what somebody did before us complicates things. So the yeah, so if you the, did a good the, job of removing the yeah, shield, the easy no. the easiest way for the you know for us to evaluate that since we have a team of seven is the person at intake is going to look to see if the shields are off. So if the shields are off, then she's going to call that specialty data. And you know, if you want to say no, I took the shields off and I didn't nudge anything or bump anything or whatever, and you know you you could certainly make a case that hey we didn't complicate your job and we stopped before we did we sent it to you. In which case, you could probably uh, make a case to not be charged specialty data and be standard data. All right, so that's the 3 vo NAND spot within the PMIC that's getting mm -hmm. hot. Is 
does black mean really hot or does that mean cold I mean, uh, yeah really yeah hot. black in the center of red means really hot all right so so the water damage g ones at the at the edge are not doing anything so this is the one where I really was hoping that the camera would really help, and it really doesn't seem to help. It doesn't tell me anything that I already knew, which was it's getting hot around the NAND, and we don't really know why, but the NAND itself is relatively cool. Yeah. You want to put freeze spray on it and see if that can help the... We could kind of simultaneously look with the camera and with just our eyes. Um, I... I'm going to predict that free spray is just going to tell us PMIC gets hot first and nothing else. Okay. I mean, I would predict that as well, but we don't have a, we don't have another choice. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll give it a shot, but that's what it's going to do. Camera says board's cold. Oh, it it is. Oh, look at that. So the melting, which we can see it melting, and then right the there. camera itself can see it. But that's yeah, just that melting. You know, is that the camera showing us heat? Well, it was that got that NAND was all dark, and that one yeah, spot right there got spray, lighter first. That's what because the freeze spray melted. Oh. Like if you look at what freeze spray itself did, that's where it melts. Here, right. let's like put that under the microscope view. Okay. So let's see the man. We can't see it. There you go. Make it really white with free spray because we can't really see it. We can't see the contrast of the microscope. Yeah. I'll blow it. All right, so this short is still shortening. Yeah. The thermal camera is saying the your board is, is really cold. Yeah, thermal camera, just to be just to be clear, thermal camera says black board. Board's cold. Ain't no heat anywhere. Uh, the DC power says it's but short. It is that light spot in the top of the center of the NAND is what starts to turn light first. Out of all the blackness, that is the first spot that starts to turn light. And free Look, spray... Look, there, microscope. There, Ooh. you can see it on the microscope. Yeah, actually. and right there. Yeah, so it's kind of, it does the same as free spray pretty much. Yep. So I could tell a little bit earlier than the free spray started melting. Um, so, uh, you know, that I, I would say that's... Equivalent. Yeah, neither, neither one's better. Right. Um, it does the same job as the free spray in that case. It tells us the same thing. Okay, so, but, but that doesn't, again, it doesn't, that camera doesn't help us. Because this board is here because that was the finding. It mm -hmm. was, there is no short on 3VO and AND, despite the fact that that looks like what the short is. See if that, you know, and, and there was, which I cleared, and then, you know, the, it, it just keeps acting like a 3VO NAND short. You can check with a multimeter right now to see if 3VO NAND is short or not, but it's almost like with use or something. The Yeah, so 3VO NAND is not short. And you can... I just want to see if that line is 3 volts. It is 3 volts. I've done that before. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So three of you and Nand is three bolts. I mean, you can try it again. I mean, but just to rule that out. So what Mark's doing is he's saying, even though diode mode says three of you and Nand is not short, what if I tell it to turn on? Now it's much less short. Look at that. It's only 0.14 instead of, it was 0.7. The board's still cold. It'll go up as it heats up. Uh, yeah, so I have three volts there. Yeah, so that's what I did before, and that's when I put it aside to say, maybe the camera can show me what the problem is. And so nope. far, the camera has not shown me anything I didn't already know. So this one was one I really hoped that the camera would be amazing, and it's, and it's kind of not. All right, what iPhone is this? This is an iPhone 7. All right, well, that didn't help. That didn't help. So what I would do, if this was in front of me, I would take off the NAND. Um, me too. And that would be the next step, which again is kind of laborious for a, for a uh, stream that's about what can the camera do. Yeah. All right, so result on that one is camera didn't help us tell us anything that we didn't already know with conventional techniques on that one. Yeah. All right, so I think that there's um, one, other case which is a really really old one and you were the last one to work on this so i don't really know oh yeah this old guy all right so this one is not from today's cases this is one from the vault yeah which is here because we thought it had a short somewhere that we didn't know another chance for the camera to shine will it show so, us something we didn't already know yeah, so this one I found that PP1V8 was lower in diode mode um, Is it a than, 6S? than it should be. Uh, it's a 6 plus. Oh, it's 6 plus. Yeah, so PP1V8 was low, um, and uh, I can't remember what it does on DC power supply. So let's Larry just wants to know, does see. PMIC doesn't show a short at the same time? It appears where the PMIC was getting hot earlier is the same spot for 3VO. Yeah, it does. It from the from the way that that looks on that last one, that iPhone Seven, it looks like there would be a three VO short, and there was a three VO short on that last one, which I relieved by getting rid of the conventional cap that causes that problem. Um, but it's still acting like it has a three VO NAND short. However, three VO NAND is three volts, and it's in diode mode normal, so that doesn't appear to be the case. Okay, so now on this one, this is the 6 Plus, and yeah. it hangs out with, after prompt to boot, it hangs out at this 100 milliamps. So which, I'm going to disconnect and prompt again. All right, so disconnect and prompt again. So I, yeah. All right, so a 90 milliamp phone, which... That's a little bit of a toss up between something that's maybe an SD RAM not kicking on fault or something that is an I2C bus fault, you know, when it mm -hmm. just kind of hangs out like that. So, um, you know, so if just from that electrical presentation, I would be thinking data line problem somewhere. I would check to see if it's in recovery mode mm -hmm. and recognized by iTunes, like it just doesn't know what to say. I would. I would take off any candidates that are on I2C bus lines. And you're saying that you kind of probed around here a little bit before. And did you solve any other earlier problems or don't remember? What? I don't remember. I inherited this one from you. And then, because, well. No, I, I definitely don't remember Because <laughs> I know that, that that's not me at the dock. Oh yeah, I do that at the dock. That's yeah. telling me. <laughs> so, you know, I I don't that would have been yeah, that's like super long long time ago. Yep. Um, but you probed around and you've had some feeling about one V eight. Yeah, which now I'm drawing a blank on where I hit one V eight on this board. But a lot of times um, these phones just have a low one V eight and they're fine. But yeah. mostly it's a six. So there's some water damage there by one of the backlight drivers, and the backlight yep. drivers are still on there. I would take that off because that is definitely consistent with corrosion under backlight driver, right? 
Yeah, but you can see under the backlight driver, and it looks beautiful. All right, let's just see what the camera has to say so that we can see, does this camera have anything to add? All right. Oop. All right, so that's the question, is can the camera tell us something that we don't already know? Rewild uses rosin smoke to see where heating is up. Is there any advantage to that? Not in my opinion. It's less expensive, but it's very messy. I was going to do that, actually, as one of our kind of short detection methods, just, just for the fun of it. All right, so... Also, to be clear, Rewat doesn't actually fix anything uh, at the individual level. I don't think this is telling us anything about the top side of the board. Okay. Oh, we're back to not drawing any current. All right. See, it does that. It does this spike up to like 190 milliamps and then back down to 100. Mm -hmm. uh, what up, Christy? Hey, you both take an Uber over here? Uh, what? No, we took the minivan. Yeah, Where's she picked car? me up. The minivan? Yeah. Uh, hopefully, it's still across the street. All right, so nothing, still nothing jumping out on the top side of the board. I mean, that's the thing, like with these cameras, unless you already know the answer, which is there's a really hot spot because I can feel it with my fingers or my face or free spray or whatever, then it's all very diffuse and it doesn't tell you anything. Yeah. Like that's what's tough with these cameras is if it's hot, you can already tell, you can feel it with your, with your face. Yeah, it's and not then, hot, oh, look, then you're look, like that. That must be hot right there. Yeah, exactly. If you're, if it's, if there's not a clear short, well, then you're going whatever to, that you're is, going to have to remove that. Yeah, you're going to spend so much time chasing these red herrings because you're going to want your, especially mm -hmm. your human nature bias. If you spent five hundred bucks on this, you're yeah. going to want that thing to find you some <laughs> shorts, mofo. <laughs> and it's, you're going to start. Taking it said everything. the Apple logo was getting hot, so yeah, I better you, scratch that off. Yeah, drill that right out, <laughs> and then it'll also be iCloud unlocked. So that's a big thing. Okay. All right, so I think it's time to kind of make our make our conclusions. Okay, so um, do you think the Seek camera is worth spending five hundred bucks on? Um, for short detection in iPhones, I I'm not ready to say a definite no. I I think that. <laughs> It's shown a little bit of promise today, mm -hmm. um, and and I think that it could be useful. I would like to spend more time with it and see, you know, what kind of problems I think that it could cause that wouldn't exist without it, mm -hmm. before I really make a decision on if if I think that it's useful. It could it could go either way. I think it it has its place, um, but I don't. I'm not convinced that that place is in everybody's shop. Right. I don't think that it's worth, uh, for like Larry, you know, so Larry's like, should I buy one of these? Um, I would say this is, I would say no. And the reason why I would say no at this point, and I might change my mind is because everything that the camera is, is showing us, for example, the first case, you've got an iPhone six with a VCC main short. That's quite hot you can pretty readily find it with just kind of going like this. Oh, it's the two, two guys on the end. So if you know enough to, to have the experience base to look for those, those common faults, then you don't need the camera to kind of point you there. Um, yeah. If, if you, the, you know, the, the next one where your eyes were like, oh, that guy looks funny. That wasn't the cause of the short. The short was the crack in the PMIC. So the camera really steered us wrong. It made us take off a cap. It overlooked the cracked PMIC. I think that cap was we, short too. That was the run over one. Yeah, I guess we could we could have we could have tested that, you know. So the you know, but there did it really did it really help us? It helped us find the crack in the PMIC. But free spray would have also shown that pretty readily. Yeah, you know, like and right, I, right away. I think for for people like us and Larry and other experienced techs, 
um, that just a visual inspection and in the current right so for somebody like Larry the camera your hope is that the camera would help you on cases that aren't obvious that your conventional tools don't help you with and and I think the jury is still out right now the only cases that I had around me to say hey can the camera tell us something that I don't already know the answer was no and that was just two cases though so it may be if I find just a single case where I spent a long time on it and the camera shows me something that I didn't know then I'd be really impressed but right now the camera didn't tell us anything that we didn't already know on the iPhone 7 that has what seems like a 3VO NAND short you know but that didn't show us that anything that we didn't already know and then on this one where we think <coughs> there might be some kind of a vague short somewhere the camera's not showing us anything so it's not helping us so if it's a difficult case it's a difficult case and the camera this camera at least doesn't seem to be helping us um, and it does seem that this camera is a little bit difficult to to kind of maneuver and use if you're just one person and I think that bias is a really important factor and I think that what people are going to find if you're inexperienced that you're going to chase down a lot of things that are not actually short like for example um, this thing was heating up the CPU area on a phone that had a cracked PMIC. Well, you better probe PPCPU so and see if that's right, short. Right, so then if you're just based going after C hot, remove hot, you're gonna create a lot of variables and obscure your picture and actually make it more difficult. Um, if you are you know, inexperienced, I think it could probably help you become experienced with your you know, really obvious stuff. If you just kind of made the rule that, hey, if I get a camera, I'm going to get a camera and I'm only going to pay attention to it if it shows me something that's really hot really quickly. Yeah, if there's a pinpoint that's bright and everything right. else is cool, then... Then I'm going to follow that. If I see kind of diffuse, I don't know, heating, then I'm just going to consider that noise and ignore all of that. Then I think maybe I could see that the camera would help you find your way to those signature problems really quickly without mm -hmm. having to have that really experienced crisp visual exam where you can tell the difference between the burned end of a capacitor versus one that's not burned you know that would light right up for you and it would help you i think it would be a good sort of you know learning tool to develop that experience base once you have that experience base then I'm not sure that it's that useful, which is probably a, a lot of why it is that Mark and I generally kind of don't really see a lot of value on these things, you know, because yeah. we, we if, generally if have I experience. had one when I was first starting out, I probably would have used it a lot more often than, you know, right. now yeah. I would only use it once a month, twice a month, something like that. Just So we are going to keep our eye out for interesting cases and, and uh, we're really looking forward to seeing uh, the investment that we're gonna make because of the rare cases that we do see and the increasing need to solve difficult cases on the really expensive one to see whether or not that thing is gonna actually you know, pick up stuff. You know, Who knows, it may be exactly the same as this one. Um, but for now, the jury is still out and the real test of whether or not a tool deserves a spot on your valuable bench space versus go in the back with the CNC machine is this, which is <laughs> would I get up and go find the tool if it wasn't sitting right here in front of me? <laughs> would I charge up that phone in order to be able to use that camera? You know, or would I just use conventional methods? If that phone and the freeze spray were both over there, right. which one would you grab and walk back over with? Right, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Um, we'll I, try it out this week. I mean, you know, we might be, we might love, we might grow to love it, but you maybe, know, you know. Maybe, I, I'm more I open, so. I'm more open to the idea that, that I might like it than I was when we started. Yeah. But I, I don't know. To me, it seems that one doesn't seem to be mar markedly different than the cheap FLIR cam that I've been not No, using. it's definitely better. I mean, it's definitely better. But in terms of like that, but when we were looking at it, there's three 1V8 caps here. Free spray tells you which one. Mm -hmm. it, all, it tells you exactly which one. <laughs> and the camera is like, this is one of these, like one of these three or four around here. Like that spot. You yeah, just we just got to try it out more and see. All right, so we'll, we'll try it out and we'll see 
Thanks, Larry. Larry gave us a donation to offset our expensive camera equipment. Um, so, um, <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. If you guys have any thoughts, what you'd like to see us do uh, more with these cameras, it's course week. So Mark is up here, and we're really looking forward to getting the expensive one to see what that one's going to do. Yeah. And, kind of, and, and what I really want to do for you guys is to put them head to head to see how the the, the $500 uh, Seek one um, fares. Now this one has twice the resolution of the $900 Kianli one, so I think that that one is definitely out, at least as far as I'm concerned. But if you have it and you love it, then let us know in the comments and we will see you guys later this week. <laughs>